Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces, back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are continuing on with this little boat right here. Essentially, I want to get this thing moving. I might actually make it a little bit fatter, because at the moment it's not very fat at all. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens from there. I, I'm actually thinking I might extend this backwards quite a bit until about this point. Uh, we'll put like a winch on the back or something like that, so it's sort of useful. And, um, I guess we'll see what happens from there. Hey! Alright, so let's go ahead and actually work on this a little bit. I was thinking maybe making it wider would be a little bit better, uh, but actually now that I do think about it a little bit more, I'm not entirely sure that's actually the case. So, we're going to go ahead and do this, make it a little bit bigger. Here we go, delete all of these things, and delete all of this. Alright, cool. So this is actually going to come back to there, alright, and that's going to be quite a large, quite a large little thing going on right there. Uh, we're then going to actually do it from here upwards, up to there. Uh, but obviously we're going to delete some things. So, we're going to have it go in sets of two, I believe. Two. There we go. Alright, pretty awesome. And it can literally stop right there. Uh, and that would be fine. That would actually be fine. There we go. Attach that, that to there. Attach this to here. Alright, pretty awesome. Uh, do all of this with one by twos. Here we go, with these things. Up to the tippity tap. Here we go. Alright, that's pretty good. Uh, and actually, wait, we can actually then do this on the back end. I think that, it, in itself, actually looks pretty cool. So, um, yeah, we'll do that. Drag this across here. Go ahead and put this piece right here. And voila! There we go. We got ourselves a coolish looking boat. Alright, so, the other thing that I want to do today then is I actually want to put the engines in. So, what I'm thinking we do is um, each engine actually ends up going to one propeller. So, this engine will go to... This well, this propeller probably, uh, and those engines will go to the outside engines, uh, propellers, and that'll be fine. So we need gearboxes in order to actually make these things work properly. So, uh, we want them pointing at the engine. There we go. Have that there. Have one next to it, also pointing the same direction, and yeah. All right, cool. There we go. So that's gonna go there like that, and that's actually fine. We're gonna then have another one doing exactly the same thing. On every single one of these. And then we need a clutch. Oh yeah. Uh, to actually just attach these together. Alright, that's pretty epic. That's awesome. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and pipe in these pieces too. So this one obviously goes sideways. And then it goes sideways again. Alright, cool. This one goes sideways. It also then goes sideways again. Alright, pretty epic. And we'll put a clutch right here. Yeah. Uh, right, pipe. Uh-huh. We need to attach this to this side uh, if we can so drag it all the way to there okay make it go sideways if we possibly can yep all right cool drag this this way put this piece on here and that's awesome too all right cool uh next thing coolant here we go uh heat thingy my bobby actually realistically we just need this to go down like this and that's fine uh same with right here as well yeah it's actually completely fine Right, so, fluid pots uh, need to poke through the bottom. One's going to go right there, and one's going to go right there. Awesome. Same thing's going to happen back here, too. One there, and one there. And then we just need a bunch of these pipes to attach all of those together. All right, there we go. Oh, wait. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. We actually need to put these up. There we go. All right, cool. And then these ones. No, put it in the right place. There we go. One there, and... On there. All right, cool. Um, so now we just need pipes again. Uh huh. Some straight pipes. Connect that to there. Connect that to there. Same thing on these ones. Connected, connected. And that's awesome. So these two are exhaust. That one's fuel. We need the fuel to go to the front. We need the exhaust to go upwards. And we need the air, which is actually under here, to go upwards as well. Um, and I kind of want it to come really far upwards. So. Yeah. Alright, so for the air, we're actually going to have it come up. And the exhaust, I think, is actually going to go down uh, through the bottom. And that makes sense, I think. So drag this downwards. That's good. Drag this upwards. There we go. Uh, we're going to put fluid pots. Actually, literally just right here. Like this. Like that. There we go. Alright, cool. We're going to have the pipes leading down to those. And that's going to be fine. There we go. Straight down. And straight down. Okay, delete this, 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 this. 
And that actually takes us down to here, which is awesome. All right, okay, attach that there, 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 there. All right, yes. Okay, so that's our air supply for both sides. Um, and that should be relatively easy to do, I think. Um, the exhaust needs to come forwards and down. So delete these ones, delete these ones, and then put these in. Hopefully they're the right way around, are they? This one's the wrong way around completely. Literally, like, fully the wrong way around. Same with that one. No, we can't have them be, like, odd either. There we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, delete, like, four. There we go. Delete four here as well. Same with these ones. Four and four. Uh, and realistically, we should be able to just put these together um, using these pieces. There we go. Dude, my dog's at the door again. She's always at my door. Go away. Go away, puppy. Go away. All right, we'll attach those together like that. And that actually looks okay, I think. All right, so, um, yeah, my dog was at the door. What was I even doing? I don't know what I was doing. Right, okay, we're gonna just literally attach this to here, like that. And we're gonna have this bit actually be flat, which I think is probably okay. Uh, and that totally works. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, what else do we need to do? I'm thinking we sort of fix this up so it looks like this instead. Uh, we'll do something like this. Maybe we can actually put the helm there. Uh, and that should look cool. So let's do that. There we go. Turn that around. Awesome. Uh, and that should actually work out fine, which is cool. Uh, right, okay. Go downstairs. We need to sort these out. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is what we were doing. Uh, grab this. Make it go upwards. Okay, twice. That's good. Same here. Okay, and then attach this to here and to here. Same with these ones. One there and one there. And then this can go in here and here. Okay, pretty epic. And then these ones too. Nice. All right, so literally all we got to do with the fuel is push these backwards. Have this one come upwards and then go backwards. All right, like this. Uh, and that's actually fine. There we go. That's actually pretty epic. Uh, so delete this and delete this. Okay, we're going to do this, this. We're going to do this as well. Okay, we're going to do that, and that, and that, and this, and uh, before we finish it off, I need to get some fluid ports to go inside of here, one there and one there, and then realistically, that should actually work. I know it doesn't look the best, but it should work. So we got our fuel, we got our exhaust, we got our, oh, our air isn't actually in. Alright, let's, let's attach our air supply. Here we go. So this is going to have to go backwards quite far. This one's going to have to come down and go backwards a little bit. In fact, let's bring this one down a little bit more. Um, and then have it go sideways. We'll have this one come down a little bit and then go sideways as well. And we'll just have them go straight backwards. Here we go. Yeah, this totally works. All right, cool. Bring it back all the way to the back side of this engine and that's fine. Uh, and then we'll be good. All right, cool. Put this going down. Okay, uh, we kind of need it to go through here, <laughs> which which is a bit, like, a bit mental, just a little bit. All right, here we go. Forwards. Okay, have it come sideways, please. Sideways, just a little bit. There we go, and then up. All right, okay. Okay, up through the middle of there. Now we literally just need to connect these together, so this is going to go there. This is going to go here, and then we need to, oh, God, bring this backwards, bring this sideways, and then attach these together. Like, like that. There we go. Yeah, that actually works. Uh, so that's one air supply done. The other air supply is, oh, a little bit more difficult. Just a tiny bit more difficult. Dude, I didn't realize there'd be so many pipes down here. I thought this would be easy. I thought this would be really easy. All right, sideways, upwards. Take it up. There we go. Uh, Sideways again through there. Oh, dude, this is a mess. This is an actual mess. All right, go through here. All the way to the edge. Delete this. Bring this backwards. All the way to there. And then attach them together at the bottom. And that's fine. All right, cool. Yes. All right, so uh, the other thing we actually need then is a battery. Here we go. Uh, we're going to put this at the back because we need weight at the back. And that's that's a good way of adding weight. And usefulness. So there we go. We're going to have like four batteries. Oh, we can't actually have four. All right, we're only going to have three batteries. That's fine. All right, attach everything to these. Oh, God, this is going to take a while. 
Okay, it's all connected together in some sort of way, which is perfect. Uh, I'm going to attach them together a little bit more so that if anything gets damaged, everything is actually fine. Um, so there we go. Right, everything's attached together. That's awesome. Right, we should, in theory, be able to get this thing moving now, uh, which is going to be kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and put A and D on the rudders, obviously. There we go. Let's put W and S on the clutch. On all of the clutches. Good. And then let's put up and down on all of the engines. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we also need to add one to, uh, like, all of the engines as well. Just so that we can actually um, start them, I guess. Yeah. All right, okay. I forgot that it was actually backwards, but um, it is backwards. So that's a thing. But uh, everything should be fine, maybe. Everything should be fine, maybe. All right, here we go. Jump on the boat. The boat is wide open. That's fine. Here we go. Start the engine and the throttle. And off we go. Oh, God. Okay, it's a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit off balance. Maybe just a tad. <laughs> just a tiny bit off balance. But I guess this is fine. Yeah, I think there is a way I can fix this, actually. All right, so what we... Oh, no, how does this work? How does this work? All right, delete, like, four here. Delete this one as well. Delete this one as well. Delete this one. And this one. And then I think what we do is we put this here. Press U. Put that there. And drag it sideways. Down to the bottom. Like that. There we go. Then that. Then we need to get rid of, like, all of this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, this is fine. If it makes it more stable in the long run, then it's worth doing. So, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Leave all of those like that, and that's awesome. Uh, we need to do then another one of these. Like this, down to the bottom. Obviously make it flat on the side. And, yeah, that should totally work, actually. That's pretty good indeed. Alright, delete all of these. Delete this. Put this across the bottom. Put this across the side. To there, delete all of this as well. Put this in. Alright, cool. We're going to have to start out the back end. But, but this should actually end up working a hell of a lot better than it did before. Okay, so drag this sideways. There we go. The flatter the bottom of the boat, the better it is. Alright, or the more stable it is, I should say. Maybe not better. Alright, here we go. Pop all of these in. That's good. I haven't done anything with the front, so that's fine. And every... Oh, there's a hole. <laughs> there's a hole right here. There we go. All right, cool. We filled in the hole. That's awesome. So this thing should actually be a little bit more stable now. Uh, for testing, I'm just going to fill this in like this. And realistically, that doesn't look too bad anyway. So we're going to leave it. All right, here we go. Spawn it in. All right, it's landed. Okay. Jump over onto the boat itself. All right, pretty epic. And go. Yes! Dude! Fixed itself straight away. That's awesome. Oh, it fixed itself enough anyway. It totally works. Uh, right, okay. We just got to work out how much fuel we actually want at the front. Because I don't think we need all that much. Uh, and then how much fuel we need at the back, etc. And then I think we're good to go, you know. I think we're actually good to go. All right, leave that like that. That's fine. Uh, we'll add some weight at the... Oh, actually. Should we just use pivots? Here we go. I love using pivots. Uh, maybe I shouldn't actually love using pivots, but whatever. Here we go. Put these in across the front. That's fine. Uh, obviously give them all electricity. Oh, not really, but attach them all together. And then spawn it in, see what happens. There we go. This might be interesting. Yeah, you see, because the front of the boat is now... Is now going to stay a little bit higher, which is kind of cool. Here we go. Did I delete something? I might have deleted the um, the fluid. So yeah, I've deleted the fluid spawner. Okay, my bad. We can actually delete this side, and we can put it here instead. All right, here we go. Fluid spawner. Put it there. Fluid meter. Put it there. And spawn it in. Okay, let me go inside. Press 1, go. Oh, we're a little bit too buoyant at the back now. The propellers don't even fit in the, wa in the water. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. Drive around the corner. We're going to have to sort this out. We need a lot more weight at the back to actually rear it up. 
if that makes sense. So, I, I guess we are just going to add weight blocks. In fact, delete all of this. Realistically, the weight blocks should be towards the ground. Like, they should be as low as, as possible. Uh, but if I put them here, we've actually got room for them and they will work. So, I'll put them here as well. We've actually got a lot of weight in this now. So, I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it's still buoyant. The back end is is still kind of higher than the front, which is incredible. Uh, yeah. All right, well, we're in the boat. Let's go. Yeah, that totally works. All right, nice. So we've actually got this thing moving. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool indeed. Nice. Um, right, okay. I don't really know what else to do with this thing. I'm thinking of deleting this back to here-ish. Um, maybe even deleting it all the way back to to a certain point. I'm not I'm not sure where. But essentially, if I do this down the side, we should be able to add this right here like this. Okay. This piece could probably close off like that. And on this piece, we should be able to do... I don't know, this? Maybe? There we go. All right, nice. Yeah, that totally works. Awesome. Well, um, yeah, I guess I might actually end this video here for now. I'm still thinking maybe if we make this a little bit wider, it will end up looking a lot better, but I'm not entirely sure. So I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think anyway. Uh, and I guess we'll we'll continue with it next time. Um, although actually, let's paint it a little bit before we finish. So we need to paint it from the back. We need it to be like gray here this is going to be like the water line i guess that's going to go across there here we go all the way across awesome there we go go down the sides and things here we go all the way oh god doing this is so annoying by the way doing this is really annoying here we go don't go down the sides this is the water line so that's where the water will be or should be what color am i doing this gray all right cool uh, do this all the way down the back, uh, or down the front on the other side. It's really annoying that these don't mirror their paint, but that's just the thing, so never mind. All right, here we go. Good. Paint that bit back. And then somebody said do frantic red on the underside. So, sure. Here you go. Frantic red on the underside of the boat. Is it going to look cool? Is it going to look bad? I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. There we go. Paint all of these as well. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll paint this bit back. There we go. And I think if I get the right colors, I'll just paint everything else. And it should be fine. Yeah, that actually looks okay. It does. It really does. Nice. Uh, right, paint this bit too. Here we go. Paint all of this. And paint all of this. There we go indeed. That's pretty awesome. Nice. Um, right, okay. The deck color. Some. I think you said gray. So we're actually going to jug it gray. And I think that's probably fine. I think that is probably fine. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, actually, uh, in the comments down below. But I'm, I'm thinking this actually looks okay. I'm not sure about this area, actually. I don't know whether to just bring this back, attach it straight into this, and make it work, or or not. I don't really know. I don't know how to make this work. If this goes backwards all the way to there, we sort of need it to fasten together. And that's not really something we've got. Or that's not really something we can do. You know? There's nothing that'll fix these two pieces together properly. So it'll have to look ugly. Or weird. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Where hopefully we make it even prettier. And actually make it useful too. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.